Now that we have power back, welcome to some Transport Inc. This is a really cool strategy simulation game that has a lot to do with logistics of transportation. And walking straight into this video, you'd think a lot is about that transportation aspect, and you would be right. Because we're going to be managing our own company, our own transportation company, for the first year in the alpha of this game here. Where a lot of it is going to be transporting people and buses around the map here. And the really cool thing about this game is the map is a real world map. Real cities and everything else around the world. And as the game gets better, we're going to have planes, trains, boats, all those different types of things to move more goods around the world. And of course, I know a lot of you, this isn't your cup of tea. So hopefully a little bit of comedy here and there should help to make this a little bit more interesting. All right, let's jump right into it now with a new game. And I'm just gonna name it something pretty simple, you know, Storms Company. If I could uh, spell, oh, that's actually correct. And where do we wanna start? Um, I'm gonna do New York. New York has been pretty good to me recently. Um, I've actually have played this game once or twice here, so I kinda got the gist of what's going on. Start out with that $120,000 and some very loud music. Oh, let me fix that. All right, now that is fixed. Let's jump straight into building our transportation company right here. So early alpha preview version is limited to that one game year, and that's what I was talking at the main menu about. We don't have too much time to get things going here, but hopefully with my uh, my math help here, we should be able to build a decently good company here with transporting people around. Uh, so of course, as we're starting out here, we have to go through the nitty gritty about what's happening here. I have kind of learned a bit about what's going on, but I'm going to run with you guys how we're going to be starting this thing out. So of course, we have to learn about demand between different cities here. Who wants to go where and whatnot? Because our main item in this game right now is transporting people, and we're going to be using a lot of buses to do that. So as you can see, the different symbols on different cities here showing us who wants to go where everywhere. So, of course, I've clicked New York, and a lot of people want to go out of New York. Who wants to go to New York? I, I'm just joking. A lot of people like the Big Apple in New York there. So, I'm just going to click Next. If you do want to read those paragraphs of words, you can, but I'm just going to give you the Sparks Notes version and move on to the next thing here. Yep, we also need to build our own depot here. So, we're going to drop a big 25 G's on a depot in New York and click that. Now we also need to make our own route to another city. So I'm just going to make that route right there. And of course we also need to buy those Uber vehicles, but not exactly Uber vehicles. They're like school buses in a sense. Right now that, that really does look like a school bus, wouldn't you guys think so? I mean that looks like a school bus. This looks pretty darn good down there. So alright, we've got everything rolling here. And as I've learned going through the game, a couple things you want to do, especially around this area, is buy a couple of the passes to some different states. Basically meaning you can't move people to another state until you have a license there. So I really like to just drop a lot of money into this corner right here and build a decently good loop right here. Between these three cities, there's a lot of money to be made. And if we grab a bus right there, we can drop him on there. And I know what a couple of you might be thinking out there. Although we have the loop here, my only bus depot to repair and stuff is down in New York. So if I do have to repair this guy up here, my smaller bus, I do have to bring him back down to New York and get that rolling from there. Alright, our first transport. Of course, when the vehicle stops in the city, amount of money will appear showing you if you've earned or lost money. That basically means it'll take the amount of people you're transporting, take the fare, the amount of money you are pricing that for, and just tell you how much you've got or lost, because you also have to pay the bus driver and for gas. So of course we have a handy dandy little math tool over here we can use, the abacus? I don't know. We'll be using that around the video to just calculate out a couple things, especially with those ticket prices there. So, let's click that there, and exactly what I was talking about. We can change those ticket prices there, and we also have other logistical tools within the game to help us out figuring out a couple different things about our company. And this will tell us net profit from this bus. We've already made two grand, close to three grand, off of our one bus. And if you look at the top right of our screen as well, we can already see 
some competition from the shipment wizards. Hmm. Hopefully they won't put a spell on us, but I mean, uh, they probably took out a big loan to get a large bus over here. Look at that thing go. Actually, that is a decently good loop. They have a long loop with a big bus so they can haul a lot of people around from New York all the way up to Watertown up there. Yep, uh, I just talked about that game. Real quick, while I am in the middle of this game, I do want to apologize. I haven't made a lot of videos recently. The past week has been pretty crazy with the finals for my college classes, so I just had a lot of time devoted to studying and a little bit less going towards the YouTube videos. So hopefully you guys have stuck with me for some new content coming up here. So yeah, let's get a little update here. One of the buttons I love in this game is the four times. We can just speed up everything, see how things are going here. This loop is golden. It makes so much money for me, I figured out, that um, it kind of just drives the company. The New York one is kind of hit or miss sometimes, but um, I don't know. Sometimes it's decently good. I do want to change around this loop, though, so I'm going to delete that. Once we get this guy, I'm actually going to bring it back into the depot because there is another mechanic that the game's probably going to talk to us about in a minute, but it's repairing vehicles. As you can see, the two little dials under it. The top one is the amount of passengers in white. The bottom one is the health of the vehicle. So they're both kind of yellow right now. But let's go into the next thing we are talking about, some events. Um, the window left me apparently but um yeah a couple cities do also get events to them which means the amount of people moving between those cities is going to skyrocket so one of the things you can do with that is actually charge people a lot more money to go there so once this guy is done repairing we can drop him right back on this new loop and i think i'm gonna let's decrease the price by two dollars for, I don't know. Let's see if that helps us get a little bit more competition. We also are running a different loop from our competitors there. They have two wildly different loops going across the, I guess, eastern seaboard here in like five or six different states. I've got my four little states right here that are running perfectly at the moment. Um, this guy. I do have enough money to buy a second guy on this line. And that might actually make me more money. The only risk I have here is if I start to lose money because I put a second bus on there, eh, I'll make another line somewhere else. So let's hit that speed up button right here and watch the money roll in for a little while. So I've slowed my game down to two times speed. I built this new loop here as we were going in hyperspeed there. We are going to have to go toe and toe with our competitors there on this loop, but if we click on New York, look at the amount of people that want to go between these four cities here. That's kind of like the Golden Street right there. I'm using the same reference multiple times, but I'm going to take a little bit of a uh, loan out from the bank here, even though um, they may not like me because I lost four grand right there. Um, I'm going to ask for $67,000. I'm going to get myself a nice bus right here to move a bunch of people between this loop. And, of course, yet again, I only do have two slots in the depot here, but I figured out, actually on this run, not lying, I figured out that um, you can have as many buses as you want. The depot kind of means you can only bring in a couple buses at a time. So one of the things I'm really trying to manage on this run is not having any buses break down, because I think it's on average like a few thousand dollars to bring in one single bus back to the tow shop or not the tow shop the um the depot here in new york so i really don't want to play play pay that price right now and currently the uh, shipment wizards they are beating me out just by a little bit because i took out that seventy thousand dollar loan so that does go against my net worth of the company but i mean look at all that green rolling in right now so yet again, we're going to have another montage of just us moving very fast to get some things done here. And eventually, I bet I'm going to have one of these vehicles slip through my fingers and not be repaired. So let's bring that guy in. Okay, perfect. So I'll be back with you guys in a little bit um, after something else new happens. So currently, we are beating out the computer at its own game right now, which is actually surprising because I'll be totally honest with you guys. This is the third time I've tried to record it. The first time I recorded it, the 
um, the visual stuff was just um, really glitchy for some reason. I think OBS had a problem with it. The second time, the game kind of just really failed. It wasn't that interesting. The company kind of went in the toilet very quickly. So I didn't think that was a great representation of the game. But right now, we are, um, you know, kicking some butt, taking some names in the transportation company here. Let's um, bring these guys back into the depot because, oof. That guy is very close to being downed as well. Yeah, and now this becomes the problem of the um, the two bus depot. So I'm going to build one there and send those two. Because these two guys are money makers anyways. They probably earned their worth in 25 grand worth of dollars to put their own depot there. And if I do plan to expand a little bit further north, um, you know, it'll be a good depot to have there. So now that we bring in those buses, of course they are repairing, like I was talking about earlier. And um, another mechanic about the depots, um, yeah, they only can repair one bus at a time. So in our logistical um, abacus there, we have to plan, move the seven there, change the one there for profits as well. And this bus loop right here has been a money cash grab at the moment for us. So I'm going to change the price by five bucks and see if our uh, big old bus here, because it is moving people so far, can help us get a couple extra dollars once it is repaired here. And look at the time go. We already are in our ninth month of this full year here. So let's speed that up a little bit more and get this big guy out on the road again. And of course, keeping that abacus up, we have to see if the profits are worth it. I mean, we're still making money between cities here, even though... That was minus a thousand dollars. Um, big bus, can you get me some money here? Houston, we may have a problem. Okay, uh, I didn't. F I forgot to carry one. Let's change it down to forty-nine. There we go. We're beating out the competition again. Cause I think, yeah, the competition is running the same line. So my prices might have just been a little bit higher. To where, um, yeah, we couldn't do that. So another really cool mechanic of this game is real world road closures, which of course are kind of um, random at some points, but um, it really makes you have to go around them on major roads here. So as you can see why this bus went all the way around there and lost seven grand. Currently the bus is stuck in that seat. Oh no, there we go. It's going again. All right, did we lose a bus somewhere? Oh, this guy's been repairing for the past, like, three years. Let's bring him back out. And that guy is very close. I'm hoping to do this entire run without losing a single bus there. I mean, over there, it's looking really good for me so far. So, we our profits are really high right now. We're doing pretty good. Um, one of the things I'd love to see happen to the game, if you could get like a difficulty level for the enemies in this, or I guess the competitors, if you'd like to say that, that'd be really cool. I mean, since the last time I played it, the game has updated, and it looks like the enemies aren't decimating the competition. The competition being me, their only competition at the moment, because they're not exactly going too far. They bought a third bus, but they seem to be struggling, maybe with a loan or something. And um, since I did pay back that loan in full, the uh, bank actually does, or I've almost paid it back. There's one more month to be paid, but they trust me a lot more with their money now. But sadly, our preview for the game is over. I apologize that I did have it running at full speed for a long time there, but um, hopefully my math calculations on the Abacus did help us a little bit with the logistical patterns here. Um, because, yeah, who needs a real-world calculator, or I guess a modern calculator at that point, but let's jump over to the main menu, and one more thing I wanted to talk about, um, if you guys really do love this game, want to see it get bigger, get its full release eventually when it does come out, with all of the different mechanics, I do have a link for you guys to the Kickstarter, I'll be putting it in that description down below if you do want to help them out moving forward with their brand new game. So I've had a blast playing this game today. I would like to send some quick thank yous over to Game Operators and Playway SA, um, whatever company does do a lot of their marketing, for sending me a key to this game, to the alpha version, 
for the full year that I've had a great time playing and managing my company. Of course, I would like to thank Digifox, the developers of this game, for making an amazing game I've been playing today. Of course, that is where I will be ending this episode, sadly. So, of course, if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Transport Inc. and more of my content. But I'm done with great goodbyes. People need me, and I need to go.